The Bible says in the book of Isaiah, and I know many of you probably know this scripture by heart, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not grow weary. They shall walk and not faint. I Good morning. Welcome to Two Minute Tuesday. My name is Elder Ernest Paredes from the Word of Life Christian Faith Center in Buda, Texas. I'm excited to be with you this morning to share the Word of God and share a testimony of my own life. If you can turn to your Bibles to the book of Psalms 147.3, Psalms 147.3, and the Word reads, He heals the brokenhearted and bandages their wounds. He heals the brokenhearted and bandages their wounds. I want to talk to you on a subject called broken toys. Broken toys. God wants to heal whatever may be going on in your life. If it's your body, if it's relationship, if it's finances, if it's spiritual. He wants to heal whatever's happening in your life. But you have to give it to Him. So I'm happy to say I've been married 36 years. And at one time I wasn't almost married. Uh, my wife and I were going through a devastating time and, and I remember we were going through a divorce and I was, I was broken hearted and I was wounded. And this scripture came alive to me. But it goes further than that because I found this little bookmark and it was a story. I don't have that bookmark anymore, but it's in my heart and I remember it as it was yesterday. And it was about a little boy that had a, a wooden toy and he loved playing with that toy. And, and the toy broke one day. And he heard about a carpenter that can fix anything. So he went down there to the carpenter and he said, I heard you can fix anything. And the carpenter told him, yeah, I can fix anything. And he said, well, can you fix my broken toy? And he said, sure, leave it here. So he left it there. But the only thing is the little boy hung around. He kept looking over his shoulder. He kept looking underneath his arms. He just he was just hanging around everywhere around the carpenter. Finally, the, the carpenter gave him back the toy and it was still broken. And he said, wait a minute, my toy is still broken. You didn't fix it. And you said you can fix anything. And the carpenter told him, how can I fix it if you keep hanging around? Oh my God. There's a lot of times we bring stuff to God to fix it, but then we want to do it in our own power. We want to hang around and help God. And you need to leave it at the altar. Leave it in your prayer room. And let God fix your toy. That broken toy. I can promise you. The way he fixed my marriage. And here I am 36 years later. The way he fixed everything else in my life. I left it at the altar. And never picked it up again. Leave it at the altar. Leave it in your prayer time. Leave it there. Trust God to fix it. He is the carpenter. He is the carpenter that heals the brokenhearted. He is the carpenter that bandages up the wounds. Give him a chance. And it'll make all the difference. Amen. Until next week, we see you. God bless you. Bye-bye.